वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल मैजिक मैकेनिकल लर्निंग टूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम डिस्कसिंग विद द मेटल्स एंड इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द मेटल्स एंड हाउ इट विल बी द क्लासिफाइड सो इन अवर डेली लाइफ देर इज अम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द मेटल्स और इन द फील्ड ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग देर आर मैक्सिमम रोल ऑफ द मेटल्स इन अ डिफरेंट वेज सो बेसिकली लेट एस सी द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द मेटल्स सो इन विच हियर इट विल बी द मेटल्स basically classified into two manners first it will be ferrous materials and second that will be non ferrous materials so in the case of ferrous materials if fe or you can say iron is present so that all the category of the materials it will be called as a ferrous materials so in simple way it will be attracted by the magnets but in the case of non ferrous materials or you can say the fe it will be absent into the composition of the materials so basically in that case copper and its alloy so generally that will be brass bronze it will be considering as a non ferrous materials aluminium and its alloys so y alloys duralium hindalium that all are considering as non ferrous materials and zinc and its alloy so generally that will be not attracted by the magnets or you can say fe it will be absent in the form of composition of the materials so now the further classification of the ferrous materials so basically starting with a pig iron so that will be generally found into the earth so that will be considering as a basic material you can use it and derive the different materials as per the my requirements then second thing rod iron so that will be the category in the form of the steel so you can say 0.2% carbon it will be present into the materials and that will be having a good ductility and the category in the case of steel so that will be the wrought iron then important part cast iron says from the iron carbon diagram i would like to say that that will be the category of 2% carbon 2 maximum 6.67 percentage of carbon is present into the materials by the theoretical way but by the practicals you can find the carbon percent in maximum solubility for the cast iron and that will be up to 4.5 percentage of carbon by the practically so that will be the category of the cast iron and most important things that will be having a maximum applications in the field of engineering or you can say any branch of engineering and that will be the steels so generally that will be defined as a up to 2 percentage carbon present into iron or you can say fe so that will be all the category of the steel materials so now i am talking about firstly cast iron materials so basically that will be depends upon the weight percentage weight percentage of carbon and appearance or you can say color codes appearance so generally you have to take a cross sectional area of the material so that will be the gray color so that carbon it will be converting into graphite flecks and that will be having a gray color so that will be the category of gray cast iron white cast irons so more amount of carbon is present into the materials and that carbon it will be converting into the white flecks and the cross sectional area of particular materials that will be having a white color or you can say white appearance ductile cast irons or you can say nodular cast irons by some of the 
normalizing process or you can say heat treatment process that white flax it will be converting into the nodules and that will be becoming ductile kind of cast irons so initially white cast iron that will be having a brittle and the nodular cast iron that will be increasing the ductile or you can say good elongation capacity of that particular cast irons then malleable cast irons so generally malleable cast irons is derived from the white cast irons with the help of annealing process so you can easily converting into thin sheets or that will be having a good ductility so for more study or detailed study for cast irons in my list of the channels that will be the different category of the cast iron theory so here it will be only the classification of the metals so now for the steels so once again steel that will be derived into the two categories low alloy steel so that will be containing low amount of carbons and high alloy steel so let us start with a low alloy steel so in that case low carbon steel so you can say up to the 4% of carbon up to 0.4% of carbon that will be the category of low carbon steel medium carbon steel or you can say 0.4 to 0.8% of carbon that will be the category of medium carbon steel and for high carbon steel 0.8% carbon to maximum 1.3% of carbon that will be the category of high carbon steel once again our low carbon steel that will be having a two more sub branch or you can say plain carbon steel high strength alloy so some of the alloying element will be added into the low carbon steel and that will be converting into the high strength low alloy materials now from the sum of the addition of the alloying elements in the medium carbon steel and that will be plain carbon steel or you can say heat treatable steel so by the application of different heat treatment process that should be increasing the characteristics or enhancing the mechanical property of a medium carbon steel so medium carbon steel having a two category plain carbon steel and heat treatable materials now important part high carbon steels so generally by the addition of the sum of the alloying elements and it will be enhancing the mechanical property of the materials so that will be converting into plain carbon steel then tool steel so basically cutting tools that will be made of the tool steel materials now second category high alloy steel so some of the alloying elements like uh, phosphorus nickel sulfur manganese and according to that addition that will be enhancing the properties and that will be converting into the different kind of characteristics of the materials so basically for the cutting tools like single point cutting tool drill bits milling cutters or any cutting tool materials that will be having a tool steel steel kind of materials so generally by the addition of the nickel by the addition of the chromium that will be converting into heat resisting steel materials and finally stainless steel so generally it will be used for the many applications like a staircase or you can say some of the safety devices into the houses some of the commercial applications so basically metals that will be having a classified into this manner so basically ferrous non ferrous ferrous including most important things that will be the cast irons and steels and different cast irons like grey cast iron white cast iron nodular cast irons and malleable cast irons in the case of the steels that will be the low alloy high alloy low alloy will be further classified into the low carbon steel medium carbon steel high carbon steel basically our high alloy steels that should be converting into tool steel heat resisting steels and stainless steels and if you want to increasing the further properties of this kind of all the materials that will be having our one of the technology and that will be called as a heat treatment process 
so if you performing different heat treatment process onto these all materials and that will be increasing the properties of the materials and you want to study some more further details so you should visit my channel and that will be the mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you very much